What's up everybody, my name is Jonathan. I am with Best in Class Detailing, servicing all of LA County, Orange County, and Inland Empire. Today I'm gonna to show you the chemicals I use and why I love them, and stick to the end to see whether or not we use the same ones. All right, Jonathan, so tell us about the first chemical you're using. So the first chemical I'm using is called Magic Wheel Cleaner by Coach Chemi, or Coke Chemi, KC. I like to spray this on the wheels to get all the dirt and grime that's stuck on, break dust. Go ahead, rinse it off, and then go ahead with the uh, contact wash with the wheels. Hey, Jonathan, so I see the rim turning a little purple, man. Why? Yeah, this stuff has some iron uh, removal uh, chemicals in it as well, I believe. Uh, but it doesn't really do a good job on the tires. It's strictly pretty much just your wheels. So what I'm using is basically a knee pad pad. I don't really use knee pads. Uh, knee pads to me are a hassle. Uh, this I just carry around the car whenever I need to kneel down and go ahead and clean the rims or get down underneath uh, the vehicle. I mean, I'm still gonna scrub it down, but to get all the nasty stuff off, all the grease, brake dust. So right now we're pretty much spraying a brake buster on here to go ahead and clean the tires and the rims one more time. Hey Jonathan, how do you feel about the IK sprayer? Uh, the IK sprayer is a pretty good sprayer. I just upgraded this uh, IK sprayer to the automatic pump sprayer. What do you mean? So when you run out of air, compressed air in here, uh, this little pump here pumps more air so that way you don't have to do this number. What? All the time. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool. Oh, bro. I what? see some detailers. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, no, dude. I don't have time for that, man. <laughs> I, we don't have time for that. It's okay if this strips in any wax off because we're going to spray wax it anyways at the end. And there's a lot of debate whether or not you should, you know, pre-soap or pre-wash. Pre some people say, oh, no, you don't need a pre-wash. Some people do, some people don't. I like to, depending on the severity of the of the vehicle. Yo, Jonathan, this foam smells good and it looks thick. What type is it? It is the uh, Coach Chemi Active Foam with the pH of 9.5. It has a little bite to it, but not, not a pH balance type in the neutral zone. And how come you like this foam? Uh, I like it because it, it works. And uh, clients like it too, because it smells pretty, pretty good. So right now we're gonna do the uh, actual contact wash with the two bucket method. Gotta get my Agua Fresca buckets. All right, so here's a little quick tip for you guys out there. When you wash the car in the sun, you want to wash the shaded side first, and then you want to hit up the sunny side at the end. That way, when you rinse it off, you want to rinse it off on the sunny side end first, and then the shaded, because in the shaded area, it's still wet, whereas on the sunny side, it's getting dried up quicker. All right, Jonathan, what's the next chemical you're going to use? So right now, this is my secret sauce. Uh, it's my drying aid, a couple chemicals I put together. It's been working out for me. Now, when you say drying aid, do you feel everybody should use a drying aid, or depends? It depends, it's pretty much up to the detailer. Uh, if they feel more comfortable using a drying aid, which makes them think or helps them out with their uh, drying process, then yeah, by all means, go ahead and try it out. Otherwise, if you don't want to, and you just want to apply like in a sealant afterwards, dry sealant, then you can do that too. All right, Jonathan, we're moving into the inside now? Yes, sir, we sure are. What are you using? Right now, I'm using the Coach Chemi Polestar. It's a uh, textile leather and Alcantara cleaner. Basically, all-purpose interior cleaner. Is it diluted, concentrated, or straight like that? It comes uh, concentrated. However, you can dilute it to whatever you want it to be. I diluted it one to three, sometimes one to four. All right, Jonathan, what's next? So right now, Reyes, we are conditioning the leather with this Coach Chemi Leather Star. It says it's a deep cleaner for leather, but we usually use it for um, conditioning the leather. Now. Is this a, an upsell, a freebie? What is this? This is, I guess you can say it, say it was an upsell. Client was interested in getting their seats conditioned, so I sold it to them and they wanted it. All right, Jonathan, I'm assuming this is the last chemical? Yes, sir, it sure is. What is it? What are we rocking so with? So we are using the uh, Gion Tire Q2, Gion Q2 Tire. Now, what do you like about this tire shine? Um, it's not water-based. It doesn't really sling. Pretty much clings onto the tire. Customer wanted a shiny, so they get the shininess. You could also have it not too shiny, and you can knock it down. 
after you apply it. All right, Jonathan, then I guess we missed something, man. What's the last, last step? Uh, this, this is just to uh, dress any plastic trimming on the outside, just to make sure it has that last minute pop. So we are currently using PSS, Plastar Silicone Free by Coach Kemi. All right, so that concludes today's detail wash. As you can see during the wash, I was using Coach Kemi products primarily. To me, they work for my application. I know a lot of people say that it, they are expensive chemicals. However, uh, when customers and clients hire me, they expect the best. So only want to use what I believe is the best from yours truly best in class detailing. So let me know in the comments, what chemicals do you use? Which ones do you think are better or worse? And stay tuned for the next video. Also to speaking on the next video, let me know what videos you'd like me to create with Reyes. So that way I can keep you guys coming back for more.